got my mask on today. It's got cameras on it. Low mode cameras. Well, today I should be doing this shoot from London, but I'm not. With the current restrictions, it means I can't get down to London. I was meant to be doing the workshop as well, as well as this video. So instead, I've come to York. So I've got a new camera and a new lens. Under the recent Olympus offer, I bought a new camera and got a free lens with it. Or if you look at the other way, I bought the lens and got a free camera. So the camera I bought is the EM1 Mark II and the lens is the 17mm f1.2 Pro lens. It's the Pro version of their regular 17mm uh, Prime lens. So I've been wanting this lens for quite a while now. So when this offer came up with that free lens with the camera, it's an offer I couldn't refuse. So the idea then is to shoot today with the 17 millimeter focal length and then shoot this evening with that same lens, but use that f1.2 maximum aperture to shoot low light, colorful nighttime shots. But the shots today are gonna to be of a particular subject and I'm working on two projects for 2021. So my first project and subject today is chairs. Chairs and benches. Yeah, that's right, chairs. So the chairs idea came from the last UK lockdown where I was going on my morning walks and finding different subjects to shoot every day in my local area. And chairs have to be one of those subjects, chairs and benches. I just found some really interesting examples to shoot and I kind of got addicted to them. So that's gonna be my project into 2021, along with my other project, which is accidentally Wes Anderson. Now, if you've never heard of that, do Google it, you'll see it. There's an online project and there's a book out and I'm going for those type of shots in 2021. I actually started that project a couple of years ago and I did a YouTube video about that. I'll put a link up here um, where I was shooting subjects and scenes that could have been used in his film, The Grand Budapest Hotel. But today I'm looking for chairs. Don't know if I'll find any, it's obviously quite random, but that's what I'm looking for. But they have to be interesting chairs, not just any chair or bench. It has to have an interest, be an interesting shape, have an interesting feature, or have a shadow created by that chair, but chairs nonetheless. So as an example, here's a bench, an ordinary bench, quite a boring bench, but nearby are these, same type of benches, but from a very different perspective, more interesting. Now we have an interesting shot. What do you think? Well, not a lot of luck so far, but then I didn't really expect it to be. So let me tell you more about the camera and the lens. So it's the M1 Mark II, and I've got it set up with three custom modes. There's three custom modes on this camera, but I'm kind of using this four. So the first one, I've got custom one. I'm just setting that up for handheld shooting. I've got no L bracket on this camera. This one I'm gonna be reserved for shooting handheld only image stabilizing, switched on, etc. Custom 2 is the same settings, except I've got it set in the square format, so that every time I switch on in that mode, it will go to the square format. If I switched over to square format in camera on custom 1, every time I switched off, it would go back to the rectangle, the standard rectangle, which is not what I want if I want to shoot um, a day of shooting square format. And then custom mode 3 is set up for black and white. So I've got my pen Fs, which have got a custom custom mode for black and white. Really nice contrasty black and white mode. So I've kind of tailored this camera for the uh, monotone JPEGs, and that is set in custom mode three. So it's always set for that for shooting black and whites. Now the third mode, the third custom mode, is not actually a custom mode. But it's probably the mode I will use most of the time. 
So this is just actually set to aperture priority, but I've got it set so it's always on f1.2 maximum aperture for this lens. And that's why I think I'll be using this lens most of the time, shooting wide open. I've got that nice 17mm focal length, which is great for in the city, but especially low light or for just doing shallow depth of field, that f1.2 aperture is really going to come to its own. So every time I switch the camera on in aperture priority, it'll be set there at f1.2 and I can go around finding subjects to suit that maximum aperture. So apart from swapping over to use my zoom lenses, perhaps with this camera, um, they're better suited to this camera than my Pen Fs, better balanced. I think this camera is going to be bolted to that 17mm Pro most of the time. So I'm going to go out with this camera and lens combination to shoot for the day, just as I am today for instance, and therefore it's been a purchase with purpose. Well, I'm also shooting a lot of my video today with this camera and lens combination, which is something I don't normally do, as well as this camera, which is my new video camera, the Sony ZV-1. Anyway, I'm not going to give up, so I'm off to find some more chairs or benches. Okay, let's go and see what else we can find. Nah, don't like these. Move on. Ooh, too many people. No, trying too hard. Now these are interesting. Yes, these are good. And these are quaint. I like these. No. Nope. Almost. But it's a no from me. Oh, now these look interesting and colourful. These are too. So I may not have got many shots of chairs today or benches, but I certainly have enjoyed using this lens. I'll see you next time.